Okay, this tutorial will show you how to print your schedule in Microsoft Project 2010. So let's get started. We've got the schedule exactly the way we want it. We want to send it out and make a hard copy of it. So we're going to go to the File tab in the upper left hand corner of the screen, click on File, and we're going to come down to the Print option. Hit Print, and you will see a preview screen on the right side that shows what the proposed print document is going to look like. And we see something over to the right. It looks like uh, half of our Gantt chart is missing, or it's not shown over here. So we want to change that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check over here to see if we're printing the entire project. And that's, that's the selection that we want. Uh, you can also choose print between certain specified date ranges. And uh, for this case, we're going to print the entire thing from start to finish. We're going to go back to the Gantt chart by clicking on the Task tab. And we're going to double click on the time scale. And you see how our size is set at 400%? We're going to drop that down to about 200% just to see, see how it shrunk up the Gantt chart. We'll go back to the Print Preview screen by clicking on print in the file tab. Okay, now we can see our entire schedule on the uh, preview document. And these are all the columns that we want to see. We've got the task name, the ID number, the duration, the start, and the finish. So if everything looks the way you want it to look, you would send it off to print. And right now my default printer setting is Adobe Acrobat Pro. So if you have a specific printer you want to point it to, you have to say which printer you're going to choose. So uh, me personally, I like to print a PDF and then a, send a PDF uh, via email to people on the project team and they can print off hard copies if they want to. But if you're going to print off a hard copy for a meeting, you would choose paper size down here. If you can uh, get your entire schedule on an 8.5 by 11, you'd choose the letter section. But if you want a bigger uh, piece of paper to print it on, uh, you could click 11 by 17. And you see you've got more, a lot more room to show schedule activities on a page this size. And you can even, if you have plotter access, you can go and print a, a D size or architectural E size drawing. And um, I've plotted off plenty of schedules like this. Uh, but for our purposes, we're just going to leave it set at the letter setting. Let's go into page setup so we can see some more of the options that you would select when preparing your schedule to print. Okay, here again we've got an option to select paper size on the page tab. You can adjust it to a certain percentage of normal size or you can adjust it fit one to one. Just um, you know, fit the entire schedule to fit on this page no matter what. So and you can adjust it to have a portrait or landscape uh, perspective. You can adjust the margins. You can put uh, certain things in the header of the document if you want. And something in the upper left hand, right hand, or uh, center of the header. And the same thing goes for the footer. You have those choices as well. And the legend. Now the legend shows what all the colors and the tasks and the progress and summary bars and milestones mean gives you some information on those as well as in the left hand side of my legend I have my project title and I have the date of the schedule so if everything looks exactly the way you want it click OK and print the document as it is so for me, I print it to PDF. So this concludes our tutorial on how to print a project schedule in Microsoft Project. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.